Mike Cannon just might have been one of the youngest radio DJs in Houston radio history. More on that in just a minute. He was bit by the bug at an early age, dabbling in shortwave and the Citizens Band and even a mobile radio station, complete with an antenna mounted on the back of his bike. Armed with that knowledge, we can all assume what a hit he was with the ladies. In 1972, Mike was an avid fan of country KNER, which was taking on ratings leader KIKKAM. But the country radio landscape was about to change. Keener had more power, and they were about to go 24 hours, and Mike was intrigued at the on-air appeal for new DJs. He sent them a couple of tapes in his work, and he was hired almost immediately. And over the next 11 years, went from the lowest man on the totem pole to the production director for 1070 AM. He tried his hand in programming at KIKR in the North Houston suburb of Conroe and was the production director of KPRC in Houston before he found his home with the Houston Astros. He was their affiliates relations manager for 17 years. Afterward, he opened up his own production shop and he never gave much thought to working on the air again. But when we say Mike had a higher calling, (laughs) we mean it. Mike was offered a job at the nation's premier contemporary Christian radio station, KSBJ, and he took it. Mike says the opportunity to use the talent God gave me for him is the icing on the cake of my radio journey. And since I started my career as one of the youngest DJs on the air in Houston, I might as well end it as one of the oldest. But let's hope it doesn't end anytime soon. For Mike Cannon, a 2020 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. It's hard to imagine that a guy who made his living with words for 48 years can't think of the right ones to convey his appreciation for the high honor of being inducted into the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. All I can say is thank you. I'm humbled and grateful. Those words aren't strong enough, but they're all I got. I've been so blessed to have had great people around me all these years. A family who put up with the turning the radio down when the music played and up when the DJ talked. The late Rick Libby, who hired me, even though I had zero radio experience. The superstars of the day that took the kid under their wings and taught me about radio and in many ways about life. Hall of Famers. The late Buffalo Bill Bailey. The late Dr. Bruce Nelson Stratton the late Hal McLean, who I'm honored to share this induction with today. Good grief. I've killed them all. Dan Gallo, Don Armstrong, Buddy Cantu, Chuck Joseph, Bill Ingram, Ty McFarlane, and Troy West at KSBJ, my good friend John Frost, who taught this old dog some new tricks. So many others. Suffice it to say that if we've ever worked together, I count you as a friend, and you taught me something. Something I wanted to take with me, or something I didn't. But you brought value to my life and career, and I'm much better because of you. And all those guys I didn't work with, but listened to, admired and learned from. Barry the Boogeyman K. Roger Garrett, who made WWW a thing before the internet. Johnny Goen, Bill Young, C.C. McCartney, Arch Yancey, Paul Berlin, Fred Olson, and Randy Hames as Hudson and Harrigan, and so many more. And Buddy McGregor, the guy who inspired me to get into radio. Interesting story about Buddy. I was doing 7 to Midnight on Keener when Buddy retired from Houston Radio. He was doing 7 to Midnight at KQ and was having a going-away show. I called, he put me on the air on KQUE, and I put him on the air on Keener, and was able to thank him for his influence and wish him well in his retirement. 20 years later, I'm managing the Astros radio network and soliciting stations to carry the games. I call a station in Mineral Wells, Texas, asked to speak to the general manager. Guy picks up the phone and says, Buddy McGregor? I said, are you the Buddy McGregor that worked in Houston? 
He said yes, and I reminded him of our conversation and told him how I used to listen to him on K-News when I was a kid. He laughed and said, what a coincidence, Mike, after I retired, I used to listen to you on Keener. I said, are you serious? He said, no, but wouldn't that have made a great story? And it did. Thank you all again. May God bless you all real good. Cheers.